Hey lovelies, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and this reading is your last quarter reading. Um, the last quarter occurs on the 28th um, and that will bring us around to a new moon a week later. So this is your last quarter. Um, I'm not going to make this reading complicated, it is a general reading, it's just to give you a flavour of what's happening with the moon phases. Um, so what we're going to ask is, in this last quarter, is there any issues that we need to be aware of for this week of the last quarter? Okay, new beginnings. So, I'm going to put this down here. So, that's going to be your Earth card. Your Water card is how this affects you in your feelings. My feelings card, please. the last quarter of September 2019 the feelings card please okay. and then we're asking the cards how your head is going to deal with this, your thought processes around this issue. Okay. And um, that is your air position. For those of you who don't know, I'm using... Um, some people call it the elemental star spread, some people call it the pentacle um, spread. I've seen it done many different ways, um, but this particular way for me, um, I really like. So that's your fire sign and that is um, what you may need to surrender to move forward. And then you have your spirit card, what lies in your heart. Your spirit card, what lies in your heart. Now, I know for some people that they put this at the head of the pentacle. I'm actually going to put this in the heart position. What lies in your heart in this last quarter? of September 2019 thank you oh okay so that lies in your heart and then your outcome the culmination of cards can I have an outcome please for this reading thank you okay so you feel like there is a new beginning or you want a new beginning you want to start over you want to look at things magically, you want, to, you want to be using this wand in positive ways. And the reason that I'm saying that, that's your physical issue. Um, how this affects your emotions and feelings is that you want to be doing things for other people. Charity doesn't necessarily mean handing out money. It can be saying kind words, it can be taking somebody shopping home for them, it could be going and picking up a bottle of milk while you're doing your shopping. Charity comes in all shapes and sizes, it can mean donation of clothing, um, it just means the sharing of something. Now, I'm getting two sides of this card, I'm getting that this new beginning, this new magical start that you want, some of you would like to be in the position to be able to do that sharing and that caring and some of you are in need of that sharing and caring and the reason 
that I'm getting that there's two positions around this is because of the other card. So let's move on to card three, which is your head issues. You're quite grounded. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, um, if this is in your head, if this is um, your thoughts, this is where you would love to be. This, this, this would be a perfect foundation card for you. The Queen of Pentacles sits admiring her um, kingdom, knowing that she's done everything she possibly can for her subjects and knowing that her subjects are not just surviving, but they're living good and productive lives. She's sitting there um, absolutely sure of herself that her kingdom is running beautifully. She's holding the pentacle to show that her kingdom is full of wealth. Um, and perhaps this is the position that you are in, which means that you can offer um, the kind of caring and sharing that you want to offer. Or maybe it's your thoughts and feelings that this is the position you'd like to be in, so you're able to offer that caring and sharing part of the six of pentacles um it's all about sharing the six of pentacles um i'm kind of getting the feeling that some of you are coming out of a situation that you really do need to let go of this card the lord of shadows is telling you to come out of the shadows step out into the light Make yourself known. Follow the butterfly to the wishing well. It's there for you if you want it. You can take it. Um, I'm getting that some of you also may be stepping into the shadows for some reason. You may be stepping away from a situation and you need to go into the shadows to do some healing. Don't stay there for too long. You need that light on your face. You need to be moving forward spiritually. But that's the card that they say that you need to leave behind you. Um, if this is something that you've got to leave behind, then I would leave the shadows behind and walk out into the light. Now your heart card... Now normally this goes at the top because it is the spirit card really. But I really felt that I wanted to put this into your heart. And I'm kind of getting that with this eight of a theme is that you're feeling you've got nowhere to go. Um, that you're kind of stuck at the moment. That you kind of like um, can't see a way forward. You can't go back. You can't. You know that there's something dangerous in front of you with all those knives sticking out of the ground. And you feel quite bound by this at the moment. Um, this is what's lying in your heart. It's what you can't change um, unless you do something radical. And the outcome of all of these cards for this last quarter of the moon um, is the five of chalices. Now... When I see this card, I see that these cups are being purposely poured out. But when I saw this card came come out, I was kind of like, what on earth? And I feel what is happening here is this person is pouring these cups out purposefully in order to safeguard the three cups over here in the basket. Um, there's love or knowledge or spirituality or something elsewhere that you need to protect and by pouring this cup out this offer out you are um you are going to be able to move you are going to be able to be in this position you are going to be able to offer advice and um care and welfare to others and you will get the new beginning that you so desire and by being able to move backwards and forwards, you'll be able to shed these shadows that have appeared around you. Um, this, to me, the five of chalices, is normally quite a negative card, but I'm getting the feeling that this is exactly what you need to be doing. This is your positive card. This is your card that is telling you, yes, it is purposely, purposefully pouring these cups out but it needs to be done it needs to be done it needs to for you to make that step to make that effort 
to pour those cups out. And I wasn't going to use another deck because I was being given direction as it was the um, last quarter that it didn't have to be a massively long deck. But I just want to ask the Archangels if they have got any advice around this last quarter reading for the collective. Okay. And we had two cards. We've got the Ten of Gabriel. And he said, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours and trying too hard to please others. I'm wondering if that's what your shadows are. And this is why you feel you've got nowhere to go. No movement to go. And that's why you're having to pull, pour out some of those cups. Then you've got the five of Ariel. Which is this card here. And it says... You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Which is this one here. Because you are limiting yourself. This is self-limitation. Definitely. And what you're releasing, the shadows, the self-limitation, you're, you're releasing that. Get rid of this. It's no good. It is no good. For you to be feeling that you've got nowhere to go when the answer actually lies in your hands. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. It was a really good last call to me. Um, reading, I will see you on the first quarter. And I will speak to you then. Blessed be. Bye for now.